Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slap Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. One of my favorite meats to barbecue is duck, and I love the style of duck that is it has a crispy skin like Peking duck. I have a couple of videos where I cook duck, and in this episode, I'm going to show you another way to combine some of my favorite ways to eat a taco using duck to create a crispy skin that will go onto the taco. So in this episode, I'm going to do a kind of a birria taco inspired duck that has a crispy skin inspired by some techniques from the Peking duck process. So I hope you enjoy this episode where I make some birria style crispy skin duck tacos. There are five steps to preparing a crispy skin duck. Step number one is uh, you have to prepare the duck. This is a five and a half pound Canadian duck. What I've done is uh, I've uh, cut away some of the excess skin from the cavity, cut away some excess skin from the neck, and uh, trimmed away the wing tips because they will burn. What you really want to do is uh, you have to get the skin crispy, and the way you do that is you have to make sure that the skin is dry, the skin is separated from the meat. Traditionally, like in a Chinese restaurant who makes a Beijing or Peking duck, they use an air compressor. But uh, before the invention of the air compressor, we used to do it the old-fashioned way. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to slowly run my hand to separate the skin from the flesh so that I can have the skin completely separated. We're going to season this and then we're going to air dry in the refrigerator overnight. We start by working the skin off the back first to get a head start. So you can see here, I've been able to run my hand through the back part. That's the easiest way to start. Once you finish the back part, right, you want to shift your attention to the front where the duck breast is at. This requires a little bit of technique because once you get this part open, right, you'll notice that the skin of the duck is attached to the breast of the duck and it's attached right here at the sternum. So you take a sharp knife and you, you kind of have to cut your way to the sternum like a plastic surgeon and I'm from Los Angeles so uh, this is like doing a boob job on the duck and I'm not sure if it's the same on a person but if there's any plastic surgeons watching my video you guys can set, set, tell me if this is very similar to how it's done on a patient but what I'm doing is I'm running my sharp knife here right into the chest of the duck taking care not to nick the skin but I'm separating some of the fascia some of the silver skin that's kind of connecting the skin to the duck. So this has to be done very, very carefully so that you don't pierce the skin of the duck so that you can have a pristine, beautiful skin from the duck when you're done roasting it in the pit. It took about 20 minutes uh, to remove the skin, separate the skin from the meat. You can see I can run my hand all the way through. So the skin is now loose and we're ready for the next phase. First thing we want to do is we want to close the cavity where the neck is. Ordinarily, if you buy a whole duck and the neck is intact, you can go ahead and keep the neck. But uh, my duck was a supply headless, so I'm going to go ahead and use a bamboo skewer and kind of sew the end together. So when I put the marinade in, nothing will leak out. So you twist it over like so and run the skewer through. Here's one end sewed up. Chili puree is made out of five kinds of chili. I'm gonna use Anaheim chilies, Pasilla chili, which is uh, mild with a rich flavor. We're using a guajillo, which has a kind of cranberry tang and medium hot. Morita chili, which is also medium hot, a little bit smoky and fruity. And then chili de arbol for heat, which is a Spanish style tree chili. So with these five chilies, I'm going to put it into some hot water and just kind of soften it before we puree up to make our chili for the duck. Adding boiling water to the chili to soften it. The 
chiri puree is uh, in the blender with a little bit of the water. We took out all the seeds. You can leave the seeds in if you want it really spicy, but I took the seeds out so it's not too spicy. It's got a lot of complex chili flavor from the five scans of chili. We're gonna add uh, some whole garlic, uh, one onion, and a little bit of nor tomato paste to make our puree before we cook it on the stove with some oil. Add the uh, garlic now. For the salt, I'm going to add a little bit of a tomato bouillon. You want to add about probably for this amount on a blender. I'm going to add one heaping tablespoon. This will make your marinade a very salty. But when you're using for cooking, you can adjust accordingly. So if you're not going to be adding salt later, you can uh, go ahead and put more of this. But I like to put a little bit of saltiness into my uh, my marinade. So I'm going. To so I'm going to use about one tablespoon, one heaping tablespoon in here. Heat about a quarter cup of oil on a pan. We're going to cook the chili now. Get all the flavor in. Simmer your chili paste for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. The way you tell it's ready is when you see the oil on the top, right? Where the chili rawness is cooked out and the chili flavor kind of enters the oil and that's the part where you can stop you want to adjust for seasoning you want to put more of the tomato bouillon you want to add a little bit of sugar to kind of round out the flavor i use this base for a lot of my dishes when i make uh, things like even uh, chili rellenos uh, when i make menudo when i make birria this base is really really good and it keeps really well you can put it into a tub and kind of freeze portions of it. I freeze like uh, eight ounce portions of this uh, with one cup of this uh, chili paste. I also sometimes use it for curry. So depending on the cuisine I'm cooking, if I need a good chili paste, I'd rather make it myself and use this because it really has a tremendous pack with flavor with all the different kinds of chilies I, I use in making this chili paste. We're charring up some green ginger and uh, some of the uh, green onions to stuff the duck. I'm going to use my Slap Your Daddy all-purpose rub. It's a light char to soften up the green onions. A spoon of my all-purpose rub to get the salt content up so we can brine the duck from actually the inside out. So that's where it's gonna get all its flavor because you're gonna let it sit, let it dry in the refrigerator. All this wonderful marinade and spice in this puree will marinate the duck from inside out. You wanna be very careful not to get this onto the skin. Add our green onions, add our ginger, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully stuff the uh, duck so that it plumps up and we can get the breast to be nice and firm. We're stuffing it with the charred green onions or scallions together with the charred ginger. We'll stitch together the cavity so all the puree and all the charred vegetables will stay intact. To recap, step number one was prepare the duck and separating the skin from the flesh. Step two was to prepare the marinade with the uh, chili. Step three was to stuff the cavity to retain the shape, showing the spiral stitching I showed you. Step number four involves scalding the duck now to get the skin ready to be air dried in the refrigerator. I need three components to go into the scalding liquid. First is a quarter cup of vinegar. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. The third component is a syrup that's used uh, in making Peking duck. And uh, this is the secret to get the skin nice and crispy. This is actually maltose. Maltose is kind of like, you know, when you have your malted milkshake, it's a kind of a type of sugar. And uh, what I've done is uh, I've kind of microwaved this because it comes out rock hard. 
you can buy this in the Asian market. It's about like a dollar fifty for this small bottle. I'm gonna add about two spoonfuls of maltose. And maltose is the byproduct for making beer, and uh, it's used for malted milkshakes, also appearing in cereal. So this product is uh, relatively common in Asian cuisine, especially Chinese cuisine. If you can't find it, you can go to Amazon and buy it. This is not an expensive product. I'm gonna put two heaping spoons of maltose into the liquid. What is special about this is uh, it, it's not very sweet, but it gives the glaze necessary for you to get a beautiful picking duck. Be very careful with maltose because once you microwave, it's like napalm. So you, we will burn you because it's like candy. You can see the strands here on my fingers because you have to be careful when you do that. We're gonna scald the duck for about three minutes and you gotta be really, really careful when you do this. Don't burn yourself, right? Wear some heat gloves if you need to. So we're gonna gently dip it in. Everybody in the pool. And you want to run the hot liquid over. You can see the skin tightening up immediately. This is the secret to let the skin separate from the flesh. Any bits and pieces that you kinda got covered with the marinade, you want to get rid of it. And now's the time if you see any feathers sticking out, it's, now's the time for you to kind of, you know, pull them out. See the bath, about three minutes. Scald the skin. Before we put Mr. Duck in the refrigerator to rest overnight to dry the skin, like last thing we do is we sprinkle a layer of salt on it, just a thin layer. This helps the skin dry out nicely. Okay, ready to put Mr. Duck to bed in the refrigerator overnight. Been about one hour and it's browning nicely. Let's spray some water. Notice I covered the uh, tips so it doesn't burn. Squeeze a little bit more of this on it. Okay, good. And starting up the pit now. Making some fire roasted salsa to go with our duck tacos. I have some uh, tomato, chili, serrano, garlic, and onion. Slap your daddy all purpose. It's in also. And jalapeno. Toast up some tacos. I'm using some of the duck fat here. Duck fat here. We'll make a couple of them molita style with cheese. Let's go ahead and plate our duck. And the first thing we want to do is uh, to cut the back here. I'm using a uh, duck trimming knife. And this is a special knife that is specially built for trimming picking duck. Salsa, Biorosa salsa on it. And let's make a Moletas version, which is the uh, like a quesadilla style. We plated some of the uh, duck, we sliced stuff, and we made the uh, Regular one, and then we made a vampiro, which is toasted, and we make a bolitas, which is like a quesadilla. Now, for the big taste test. Okay, let's give this one a shot here. A little bit of a duck taco, birria style. 
get some uh, juice on it, lime. And before I do that, I'm going to taste the skin here. Mmm, nice and crunchy, super thin, got lots of great flavor. Let me try my little taco here now. Take a big bite. Absolutely delicious. That gaminess of the duck with the salsa and then the chili marinade with the crunch of the onion, cilantro. That is a damn good bite. And the duck breast is perfectly cooked. Very, very nice and moist and tender. And the skin is crispy. So the crispy skin and the moist and gamey duck meat, perfect match. And then the tortilla, belly toasted. Super good. Let me have another bite. Super delicious. A little bit of radish also for a crunch. Nice and crunchy. Great blend of textures. All right, let's try the uh, molita style, which is that kind of quesadilla with cheese. So it's a cheese duck taco. All right, this one. Flavor of the cheese, really good. I need a little bit more salsa. Or fire roasted salsa, I'm gonna add a little bit more salsa. Have another bite. Much better with the flavor of the salsa. And a super delish. So, you've seen me make it, not that hard to do. Just a little bit of uh, patience and TLC on your duck. And uh, making the taco with a few trimmings here. Excellent, excellent duck tacos. Probably one of the best I've eaten. Piece of dark meat and white meat here, the duck. All right, beans, no brisket today, but we got you some duck. I don't think you ever, you, you, don't, you don't eat duck very often, but uh, hopefully you like this one here, okay? Okay, go ahead, beans. Oh, he went for the white meat first. Showering down on the dark meat now. Well, he wolfed it down. Looks like uh, he's a fan of duck. Cooked the birria style. Like a crispy skin. Kind of like a little picking duck recipe going on here. You like it, Beans? I think he likes it. All right, notice I didn't feed main onions, right? So all the haters out there who always tell me dogs can't eat garlic and onions. I didn't give him many onions today. I hope you enjoyed my duck taco episode. Kind of picking duck meets uh, birria style. Please uh, ask any questions in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and share. I'd like to do a shout out for all my Patreons who are helping me keep the lights on. If you like my channel and find value with what I'm doing, please consider subscribing on Patreon.com. We have a lot of exclusive content behind the scenes, Zoom classes, and a whole bunch of more exciting, exclusive content for my Patreons. Say bye, Beans. Bye-bye.